Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a special little rifle for small children, the Cricket 22, my first rifle. Joining us today is the owner of this rifle, the small one. Hello, small one, say hello to the channel. Hello! <laughs> so the small one is going to be helping us uh, remove a feature that could be a safety feature for those of you who are safety-minded, but could also be a source of frustration if it accidentally gets actuated, which is very easy based on its placement. And of course, if you've already guessed it by looking at the view that we have here, we're talking about this little safety lock mechanism right, right there. there. Right there. Now this locking mechanism works by pushing a little rod through that hole in the bottom of the chamber and basically locking this bolt in place so you can't close it. If it's closed and you activate it, you can't open it. Um, and that can be good because that makes it so that children who may accidentally get, or maybe not so accidentally, get access to this rifle unsupervised can't make it work. However, if you keep your, your firearm, or their firearm rather, out of their reach in a locked safe or something to that nature, then perhaps this is unnecessary and when firing you can accidentally press this up on your bench or your rest or with your hand, which has actually happened to small one before. Yes. Um, um, I was at a shooting range with my dad and I was getting ready to shoot and it just wouldn't open. So I got Daddy to look at it, and it had been locked. Thank gosh we had the key, but if you don't have the key, you might have problems. Right, that could be the end of your shooting day. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. Now, you will need a few special tools <clears throat> Excuse me. that most people won't just have lying around in their toolkit. One of those is going to be a deep well 15 millimeter uh, socket. Yes. You don't need the socket wrench for this. Just the just the socket will be fine. And you'll want to get one that's specifically made for uh, removing spark plugs because if you get this and the sides of this well are too thick, it may not fit in there. So get yourself a 15 millimeter deep well uh, spark plug socket wrench. You can get that at AutoZone or any other auto parts store, O'Reilly, uh, Advance, whatever. And then the other thing that you're going to need is a Torx 25, and not just any Torx 25, but a security Torx or precision Torx, um, whichever the brand that is selling it at that time in that place decides to call it, with a little hole in the end of the post here, because as you'll notice, our Torx bolt here has a post in it. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this part off of this part. Now, small one, can you tell me what this part is called? Um, this part is called the um, stock. That's correct. And this part? The barrel. That's right. So let's take this stock off of the barrel. We'll grab our, 25, our T25 here. Stick it in. There we go. And let's just make sure this is going in the right direction. So, Dad, I have a question. While sure. You, while you're doing that, what is this little hole here? All right, I'm putting this in the middle of the video because, well, because I like to make my videos awkward. Yeah. <laughs> this hole here. And this hole here can be used to attach a sling swivel on each side so that you can put a sling on this rifle. Okay. And just for a little bonus, the very end right here is called the um, muzzle. That's right. This part is the muzzle. And while you're shooting, never put your hand or finger there. Not And don't point it at yourself because it can... That's where the bullet comes out, and you could accidentally really injure yourself. That's so correct. So always 
make sure to treat it like it's loaded. That's right. That's that is... rule number one of the four rules of safety. Yep. Okay, moving on. Now, we've taken that one screw out. Our whole action is going to come right out of the stock. Wow. Set that to the side. Now, if you look inside, you don't have your rod anymore. We can go ahead and close this up. And because I goofed, I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side and bring that stock right back. Yes. Because that is where the lock is. So we won't need our T25 again until we put this back together. Now what we're going to need is this deep well 25 uh, millimeter socket, and that's to get this hex washer off of here. That's going to fit right in here. Yep. Okay. We're going to turn that. Doesn't take a whole lot. Nope. Okay. And we'll just turn, 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 turn. Um, and if you want to know what this gun takes for bullets, is the caliber is 22. Okay. Now, we've removed our washer here, or well, that's not really a washer, it's a nut. We've removed our nut, and we're just going to pop this right out. Pop! There pop. it goes. And here it is. Um, okay, go ahead and hold it up for us, and right I will here. a little over right there, and zoomed. There you go. Yep. That's the whole thing. Now, I don't want to lose this piece, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here, just in case I ever want to put it back. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just put that off to the side. No. I like to put things off to the side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put it back together, and that is just as simple as taking it apart. Yes. We're going to line up our parts of our action here. And what kind of action is this small one? Um, it is bolt action. That is correct. Um, but of course, if you do remove this, you will have a big hole in your gun at the bottom where the safety lock is. And some of you may be asking yourself, what's going to come out of there? Well, if we get our light just right, you can see that when the bolt is closed, it's completely sealed. Yeah. Okay. But to assuage those fears that, well, maybe it doesn't have a great seal, one, it's a 22. It's not going to be pushing out a lot of pressure. And two, I happened to take this to the range today just to try that out, and absolutely nothing came out of there. So if for any reason you would like to get one of these rifles for your small one and small one when did i get you this get this rifle for you my fifth birthday and because every good rifle needs a name small one what did you name your rifle um i named her amethyst after one of the crystal gems that's a good show all right so if you want to get your small one one of these rifles um she got hers at five as she said then, uh, and you don't want to have this safety feature here anymore, then that is the simple and easy way that you can take it out. Just absolutely be sure that your firearms and your children's firearms are out of their reach, locked away where they cannot access them as per whatever state law you may happen to find yourself in the jurisdiction of. And that's all we have for you today. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like, that thumbs up down there in the bottom. Probably right around, right around here somewhere. Okay. Subscribe and let us know in, in the comments section what kind of feedback you might have. If I've made any mistakes, point them out so that I can correct them. And as always, let's learn together. Bye-bye.